Hey there, hot stuff. My name is Dusty, and this is the Scorpio Priestess. If you like my vibe, I would appreciate a like, a subscribe. Thank you so much for everybody who has. If you would like a personal reading, a cord cutting, or a breakup coaching session, you can do that by visiting scorpiopriestess.com. It is in the description of this video as well as the link in the bio. I do have a 15% off Memorial Day sale by using code MEM222, and that is in the description as well, at the promo code section when you check out. That is for all services 25 and above. If you would like to enter to win a half hour FaceTime reading, you can do that by liking, subscribing, and commenting reading. Well, my friends, we are going to get a look, see at what is new. What is the new stuff coming in, Scorpio? What new things are about to enter into your physical reality? But first, we are going to get a message from our angels. Tell me, Spirit, what do the angels have to say today? What do Scorpio's angels have to say to them today, please? A lot of you are getting messages from a passed over loved one, one of your guardian angels, your guides. Um, you're being given messages through number synchronicities, through, um, <clears throat> you could see a feather today. Uh, it just, different spirit animals, a bird could come to your window and start packing, fly towards your car, something like that. Be aware of what it was you were thinking when you get this message. Be aware of your language and thoughts the most powerful statement you can ever make, think, or feel is thank you. Be grateful for all the blessings in your life. As we acknowledge the divine order of life, the universe responds to ever greater blessings. You are a powerful creator. All you say and think resonates through your the heart of creation and the creation responds accordingly. Scorpio, your thoughts, your words are always manifesting. Yes, it's on a delay, so sometimes you're not aware of it. What you were thinking today may not be what happens tomorrow, but it could be what happens three months from now. It's important for you to change your speech and change your thoughts if they are negative right now, especially because you are in a rapid manifestation period that what you are thinking, what you are speaking is coming in at a faster rate. Some of you need to change the way you speak about yourself and start to focus on what you do have. You're too focused on what you don't have, what's left your life, problems and issues opposed to solutions and take it from somebody who knows. I've lived both lives. I've lived many years only thinking about the problems, what I didn't have, woe is me, feeling so slighted, feeling like... I was robbed, feeling like it was unfair, that life was unfair, and I've lived another part of life in a very balanced, grateful place, only thinking about the solution and only focusing on the good and what I do have, and it is a stark difference, my friends. Please try just try. Try to change that speech around. Try to focus on the things you do have. See if it makes any difference. If you're trying everything and you're batting your head against the wall, at least try. And, and what do you have to lose, Scorpio? What? You'll start feeling a little better. You'll feel a little more happy. You won't be more let down because we say those things. Like, I don't want to get my hopes up and, and think something good's going to happen. I'm going to prepare myself. But are you really prepared when life lifes? Life will always be lifing. We will always be going through things. And working on your, your emotional wellness and balancing yourself out when things aren't happening is so important because when they do happen, you'll be ready for it. And it won't knock you so far out your square that you have to start all over again. You're going places, baby. You are going places, Scorpio. There's a lot of movement. You may be thinking about going on a vacation. You seem to be a little lost. Moving into the future, there will be some things to sort out. Something's quite complicated. 
this situation or outcome is undetermined. Right now, moving into the future, Scorpio, it's undetermined because it's going to depend on you and your free will actions. There are not, there are undetermined things getting ready. There, not, there's different options that could manifest in, but it's going to uh, all, all de depend on your thought process, your decisions, your actions. You could be um, meeting somebody who lives overseas, moving into the future. A lot of balance, a lot of um, helpful people coming into your life. You could be going on a spiritual quest. You may want to go on a 30-day healing journey. I often, um, you know, instruct my pr private readers to go on a 30-day healing journey. From now until this time next month, I'm going to do A, B, and C. I'm going to work on changing my mindset around. I'm going to meditate for 10 minutes a day, at least sit in silence. I'm going to connect to nature, start journaling, start saying affirmations, change my diet around. I'm going to consume only content, music, and, and things that make me feel good. I'm going to purge out my energy of negativity and toxic behavior and see if you feel better in 30 days. Journal every day. Go on a spiritual quest, my friends, because what's coming in the future will depend on you. The outcome, the situation is undetermined because you have a, a, a situation to sort out and it will depend on what decisions you make here. Some of you are thinking about traveling. Great idea. You really should. Um, I'm booking our uh, vacation. We decided we were going to go on our family vacation the first, uh, th the week after Labor Day because I just hate crowds and it's still warm and it's kind of start the start of the off season and that's my cup of tea. So we are booking a vacation this weekend um, when my girls are all both home. So. I'm very excited about that. Some of you may be booking your summer vacation as well. Dragon spirit, shift the way you are thinking and tackle the issue from a different angle. Fiery beginnings. You're on the brink of a real breakthrough. Follow your heart and live your passion. What's coming in the future is new fiery beginnings, but you're being asked to once again, you got to listen to your old girl here, shift your way of thinking, my friends. You could see a dragonfly in the next few days. Again, there's messages coming in from your guides. If you see a dragonfly, when I was working at the last salon before I started to read full time, um, I every day I would go out in the parking lot and eat my lunch and jam to my music and, and what have you on my break. And for about three days, four days straight, this dragonfly every day came to my car and buzzed around and would land on the windshield. And no matter what I did, this dragonfly was there. And um, it was about the way it made me feel. I knew it was a message. I knew it was a messenger. Birds, dragonflies, butterflies are known to be messengers in the spirit world. Some of you could have an Aquarius that's very important to you um, in the future coming in. Now we have moth tricky situation a sly approach is necessary in order to navigate this tricky situation appreciate where you are in the journey instead of wishing it was easier you're a light that can't be hidden so don't try to dim it for no one moving into the future scorpio there may be some people that want to try to dim your beautiful light and the divine letting you know right now do not dim your light for anybody but there is a situation to sort out what is it in the next few months scorp there will be some things that is quite complex that you will have to sort out with your good decisions and your positive thinking you can really manifest a beautiful outcome yeah you're going through some necessary endings and you could be in some lack and moving into the future you're going to have to find your way out of this sad place of not having enough or feeling left out 
There could be somebody coming in that's very chaotic, but the wheel is here. There is a lucky twist of fate, a new exciting job, a new exciting lover coming in. Another Scorpio or a fixed sign could be important to you in the next few months. Tell me about Page of Cups energy, please. Could be getting messages from a lover. You could be asked out on a date. It's a small love offer. It's can I take you out for coffee? Can we get a drink? Something small, an afternoon date perhaps, but it's new love wishes fulfilled nonetheless and moving forward finally planning rapid fire planning let me tell you guys you work on changing your mindset you work on making better decisions and uh the next three months can be life-changing transformational wish fulfillment coming in or they can look a lot like now so i think it's going to be entirely up to you entirely up to you to decide for what way do i want to go it's coming in perfect timing you have a new lover, tell me about this, just in time, coming in, celebration, great time in your life, all coming into fruition and accomplishment, things progressing with ease, something extra special, better than expected, making it better and perfection, Scorpio, oh guys, you deserve this so much. I've been reading for you all now in July for two years, and I gotta say, Scorpio, you deserve this. You all have been going through it. You have been put through it. Whatever this is coming into your life, you deserve it. Now, we're all on different timelines. I am much further ahead on the timeline than a lot of you are, um, but this is going to be a beautiful celebration beautiful something extra special and you are really really going to feel so fulfilled moving into the next few months or you change your mindset make some good decisions and my friends you're going to have a great time in life everything's coming into fruition an accomplishment things working out smoothly a new lover and it's actually going good it will move really smooth tell me about this this person will be extra special they could be a leo two of cups here a perfect partnership this person is strong they are wise but scorpio you're holding on tight to the past and you're reluctant to change that's the only thing slowing this down baby is you that's it everything could come into fruition it's time to let go now you've got to let go of the past yes you were done wrong yes this happened but you can grow from it you can heal from it you can alchemize the energy and become your best self when you start doing those things the divine will bring you gifts remember what you put out you always get back it is the law of karma and scorpio you put out some good vibes make some good decisions actually let go of the past and you have a perfect partnership somebody extra special manifesting in it's going to feel like there's going to be a chain of events that happens in the future that is going to be really good you're going to have an accomplishment within your career an accomplishment within your personal life and then you're also going to meet a new lover and it's going to be like the cherry on top it's going to be like oh my god this is exactly what i needed this is the it this is it i am a hundred percent fulfilled now i feel 100 percent happy very, very good. Some of you tell me about making it better. There could be somebody that wants to make it better, 100%, Six of Cups energy from your past that's pulled their energy back from you. In the next four weeks, they could come in wanting to make things better. Three of Swords energy, they broke your heart. This person's put you through a lot. They could have actually ended up in jail, rehab, somewhere like that for some of you. This person's really hurt you and they want to make it better but you're being called now to think strategically stay in your queen of swords energy and uh yeah fine i'll hear you out but 
I'm going to use my head, not my heart now. I'm not going to be all mush and all heart and, and all, all empathy. I'm going to use my mind. Did this person change? Are they still with a third party? Are they doing the same things? Are they acting the same way? If the answer is yes, you will already know what to do. I feel this is the situation in the future that you're going to have to go inward with. If this person comes back, you do not have to take them up on their offer, Scorpio. You do not. You can tell them thanks and with love and light. See ya. Burn me once. Fool me twice. Fool me never again. Kind of vibe is what I gather here. Some of you are going to get an email, a text message from a past lover and they want to try to make it better and you're going to say no because there's something better coming and you know that your intuition's telling you that or will be very soon. Very unexpected, very sudden. You could meet a Pisces, Scorpio. Something's happening quite unexpectedly. There will be a sudden turn of events and again, do not make hasty decisions. You could be in the middle of a divorce or a court hearing with somebody. You could have a court hearing coming up with someone. It could get a little messy in the future, but more action games momentum. Do what aligns with you spiritually. If somebody makes you feel off balance, tired, drained, constantly worried, always walking on edge, that's not what aligns with you spiritually. What aligns with you spiritually is somebody who has also awakened, somebody who treats you with respect, love, and honor, not somebody who stresses you out to the point of everything else in your life starts to go bad. So you're being called now to remember that. Moving into the future, Scorpio, you have so much happiness good fortune, a lucky twist of fate. Don't allow anybody from here on out to dim your light. Tell them thanks, but no thanks. I hope everybody has the best damn Saturday. Today's going to be the best Saturday I've ever had. The best. Look in the mirror. My name is, and nothing but good things happen to me. I say every day, my name is Dusty Harkey and all good things happen to me. All day long, I have been saying it and I really have been seeing a, a little shift in what's coming into my physical reality. Just try it, try it for 30 days. Affirmations are not an immediate fix. You're retraining your subconscious mind and affirming to the universe that only good things happen to you. Love and light.